Hello students, welcome to Onus classes. Let's proceed to this video with one of the important topics that is DNA fingerprinting. So DNA fingerprinting is a technique used to identify individuals by using their DNA. And this te technique was first discovered by the British scientist Sir Alex Jeffrey in 1985. As the fingerprint of an individual is unique, like that in human genome, there are some unique parts in each individual's body. And by using the print of that particular unique DNA, this process is done. That's why the term DNA fingerprinting is used. In all human, the almost 99.9% .9 of genome or DNA are similar. And these DNA are called bulk DNA. Only 0.1% DNA is unique which are known as satellite DNA. And depending upon the structure, this satellite DNA is divided into two parts. One is called microsatellite, another is called mini satellite. But we need this mini satellite DNA for this DNA fingerprinting process. This bulk DNA and this satellite DNA, they are different from each other. And these are the difference, means these are the unique characteristics found in the satellite DNA. So what is this? Uh, the first point is that non-coding gene, means these satellite DNA are non-coding gene and so they cannot take part in the process of protein synthesis. You know that proteins are synthesized by DNA through transcription and translation. So in the process of protein synthesis, only bulk DNA can take part. The satellite DNA cannot take part in them. Second point is polymorphism is found. So what is polymorphism? Polymorphism means genetic level mutation. It means variation are seen in within the satellite DNA. So, and this variation occurs due to the mutation in the genetic level. It means this variation occurs due to the mutation in the nucleic acid, which are the base pair of DNA. Third point is junk DNA. So, this satellite DNA also called as junk DNA. Since they have no significant contribution to the cell function as they don't take part in the protein synthesis, that's why satellite DNA are also known as junk DNA. The uh, food which are not healthy for our body are called junk food. Like that, this satellite DNA also known as junk DNA. And fourth uh, characteristic is repeat sequence. So repeat sequence means what? These are the pattern of nucleic acid that occur in multiple copies throughout the genome. The base pair of DNA is nucleic acid, we know. But in satellite DNA, the arrangement of nucleic acid are repeated many times and they are corresponding to each other. Suppose, for example, in one strand of DNA, suppose adenine, guanine, guanine, thymine, again A, Z, Z, T, again A, Z, Z, T, means the base pairing are repeated many times. And this type of sequence are found in satellite DNA. But these repeat sequences are different in all each individual and their arrangement are also um, unique in each individual and this repeats short repeats are known as v and tr means variable number of tandem repeats now come to the steps of dna fingerprint process so for that process you have to go through this diagram so first what happened first the sample is taken and for DNA fingerprint, samples should be blood, hair, nail, saliva, etc. So first sample is taken. Then from the sample, cell isolation by the process, cells are isolated. Then from the cell, since in the DNA fingerprint, we need the satellite DNA part only. That's why from the cell, by DZC process, DZC process means density gradient centrifugation process, the strand of DNA are separated from the cell. Uh, for the separation of DNA from cell, there are many processes, but in your NCRT book, this process is given. Then DNA is isolated. Then this is the long strand of DNA. Then by, with the help of restriction endonuclease, means molecular scissor, this long fragment of the DNA is cut into different several pieces of different length. After DNA are cut into several pieces, then by the process of gel electrophoresis, by the process of gel electrophoresis, the DNA are arranged according to their length. 
and what is gel electrophoresis in the gel electrophoresis the dna strands are separated from each other and arranged according to their length but under the force of a electric field for that this is a electric field these are the positive side and these are the negative side there are some well where that cut piece of dna or fragment of dna are taken and as a medium agarose gel is used here after then when electricity is produced then under the force of electric field this dna has to be uh, means forced to be moved towards the positive side since dna molecule are negatively charged that's why they are keep this side and under force of electric field they have to move towards the positive side and since the shorter length of dna has lighter weight so they can move faster and finally they are arranged like this means shorter are arranged in the faster line and the longer dna strand are arranged in the last line line and like that they are arranged according to their length and same time in this uh, gel electrophoresis process when the ph is changed the dna are arranged and or become single stranded dna after all dna fragments are separated lengthwise then these dna fragments have to be shifted to a nylon sheet or nitrocellulose membrane by the process known as southern blotting to make the dna visible dna strand visible so that we can get the final result to count the pattern of bands of dna strand this dna strand has to be shifted from this gel sheet to nylon sheet or nitrocellulose membrane for this one nylon sheet has to bring and uh, it keep above this gel sheet and tap one two times then as a result the dna fragments which are present in the gel sheet will shift to this nylon sheet and they looks like this in the meantime in the laboratory radioactive dna uh, probe also prepared then this process is followed by the hybridization of dna using this radioactive dna probe and this radioactive dna probe bind with the complementary dna strand and finally they are arranged like this pairwise so this black color is the original dna this orange color is the uh, means laboratory prepared dna probe and then after that a x ray film is placed near this membrane to detect the radioactive pattern and finally a auto radiogram is prepared where different size or an on different length of dna bands are become visible and by counting this dna bands we will get the final result the dna bands are visible in orange color and these bands provide the characteristic pattern of any individual who is are different one another except monozygotic twins so by using the dna fingerprinting process uh, any individual can be identified except monozygotic twin so as a whole in dna fingerprint process there are first step is sample collection second is cell isolation third one is dna isolation fourth one is cutting of dna fifth one is separation of dna and arrange them according to their length and as a single strand then this dna strand has to be changed to be nylon sheet then the, the hybridization process is takes place with the help of the radioactive dna probe and then x ray film is developed where the final result of dna are seen bandwise and by counting this band we can find out the final result and this process is generally used to find out the culprit in the crime scene or to solve the parenting dispute like that so these are the whole process of dna fingerprinting thank you